Hello and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the different strategies available to use in Profit Protector Pro. Now, Profit Protector Pro has some amazing strategies that are totally unique to Profit Protector Pro. You won't find them on any other repricer. Profit Protector Pro was built to not just get you sales, but also boost your profit. The more you sell, the more profit you'll make, and Profit Protector Pro will be boosting that profit over and above what it can achieve with the buy box. So let's talk through your strategies. So the first thing I want to show you is on your inventory, you can obviously choose which strategy you want each marketplace to be following. Your default strategy, you can set by going to your account, going to my account, coming down to default repricing strategy and setting which strategy you'd like to be your default. If you want to read about each strategy individually, click the strategies tab at the top of the page and it will give you a little overview of each strategy that you can read through to decide what's best for you. So the algorithmic strategies first. So the first one is the super aggressive dominator. This is the most aggressive one within Profit Protector Pro. It's relentless in pursuit of the buy box. It will stop at nothing to get you sales and to win that buy box. This is a great strategy if you want to dump stock really quickly or you need to take control of that listing. All of our algorithmic strategies have these dots at the bottom and that will give you an indication of what that strategy is mostly focused on. So here, as I explained, the super aggressive dominator, sales are its most important focus. It's really aggressive at getting those sales and obviously then less so on your profit. You'll give up profit in return for your speed of sales with the strategy. So make sure you set your minimum price at a price that you're happy to sell at as Profit Protector Pro will use that minimum price in its pursuit of getting you sales. Profit Protector Pro will always work to boost your profit, profit a little, but with this strategy, it will happen the least as it's so focused on sales. So coming down, slightly less focus is the aggressive sales generator. As you can see by the dots, we've got slightly less sales, similar profit, only very slightly less focused on sales. Not quite as totally dominating as the other one, but still very aggressive in terms of pursuing the buy box. It will be undercutting other sellers and working its best to get that buy box. A slightly higher chance of making more profit compared to the other one, but still pretty aggressive in terms of that buy box pursuit. Coming down, we've got the balance sales accumulator. So this is, as you can see from the dots, slightly more focused on sales than profit, but not quite as aggressive as the other two that we've talked about previously. So getting less aggressive as we go down. This is probably the most strat popular strategy amongst our Profit Protector Pro clients. It does its best to match the buy box to get those sales, but if it needs to undercut your competitors for any reason, it will, but then it will try to drive that price back up again. This is great for super quick sales, not entirely pro profit focused, but as the title suggests, more of a balanced strategy. Then we've got the cautious sales enhancer. So this is a complete balance of the two, sales and profit, as indicated by the dots that are equal down the bottom. It won't undercut other sellers. It'll only take a match or buy box approach and always try to boost your profit. So if extra profit is what you're looking for, but you don't want to give up all your sales for that profit, then the cautious sales enhancer is the perfect strategy for you. It's trying to find that perfect balance between great sales and still having good profit. So if profit's what you're looking for, then the dynamic profit builder is probably the strategy for you. Again, you can see now there's been a switch in the dots. So we've now got more blue dots for the profit than we have in the sales. So it's taking a switch here in direction. It won't ever undercut any other sellers. It'll always sit a little bit above that buy box. So if you've got something selling quite well and sellers aren't undercutting each other, this is a great strategy to use. Profit Protector Pro will be trying to get you sales over the top of the buy box, boosting your profit. It will never compete with MF sellers. It's only interested in FBA sellers. If you're an MF seller, then there will be some strategies I'll talk about later down the page that are perfect for you. This one is for what used by an FBA seller and won't compete with MF. I'm very much looking to boost your profits. Then we come down to the hybrid profit harvester. So this is definitely more profit focused as indicating in the dots further up that scale. It's happy to sit higher, not interested in fighting for the buy box. As I said, happy to sit a slightly higher price and wait for that profit to come in. Make sure when you're using any of these strategies that you've set a minimum and maximum. The minimum needs to be a happy minimum that you're happy to sell that product at because Profit Protector Pro will need to use that minimum in its pursuit of the buy box, however subtle that is, depending on which strategy you've chosen. And of course, a maximum that isn't too high. 
Then we come down and we've got your passive profit maximizer. So this is obviously the most profit focused strategy. You can see that it's a complete shift from the beginning. The ones we looked at at the beginning does what it says, very gently passive in pursuit of that buy box and 100% looking for that profit for you. It will sit much higher than that buy box searching for that profit. It's not for you if you're looking to sell something super quick. Look at those dots and it will tell you all you need to know. It's 100% a profit maximizer. So those are the algorithmic strategies for FBA sellers that work to get your profits boosted. Profit Protect Pro is amazing at getting clients sales at prices above the buy box and that's exactly what it's built to do. Not everyone wants to use algorithmic strategies. We think they're amazing and we would advise everyone to use them. Some people want to control, have more control and tell Profit Protector Pro exactly what to do. So then we've got the ones at the bottom here. So it says quite clearly under each one, they're not algorithmic strategies just so you can't get them mixed up. So the first one obviously is match the buy box. Profit Protector Pro will do exactly as it's told between the minimum and maximum that you've set and do nothing other than match the buy box. You're in complete control. It will do exactly what it's told you to do. Penny under the buy box, not a strategy we recommend as, of, as we want to match the buy box rather than the penny under repricing, it tends to drive that buy box price down. And obviously that's exactly what Profit Protector Pro is helping you to avoid and maximize your profits. But everyone's entitled to do the pricing as they wish. So there's that option here. Then you've got penny over buy box, match low price. As I said, these are all non-algorithmic strategies that will literally just do as they're asked to do. Using Profit Protector Pro, we would always encourage you to look at the algorithmic strategies as the super, super clever. Um, so do think about using one of these, but these options are here. So you've then got penny under low price, sorry, match low price, penny under low price, penny under low FBA price, penny over low price, penny over low FBA price, 1% under match low FBA and match low MF. They're all quite self-explanatory, as I said, because they are literally just, they will just do what it says on the tin. Profit Protector Pro will do exactly as it's told to do. No movement outside of those rules. So then we come down to this use goods and books algorithmic strategy. So this is for people that are selling used goods. It, Profit Protector Pro will look at the subconditions of your products and price them appropriately. It's a great strategy because it will always try to get that best price and push up that buy box. As I said, a great strategy for selling used goods, slightly more profit focused than it is for sales and will get you your maximum price for those used goods. Then we come down, like I said, we've got the MF algorithmic strategies. So titles similar to the FBA, but obviously they say MF on the beginning. These are specifically for MF sellers, but they do the same in terms of the way they approach things and the way they're focused. So you've got your aggressive sales generator here, highly concentrated on sales, less so on profit, as the FBA one that we showed you at the top of the page. So that's one for you if you want to be really aggressive in pursuit of those sales. Then you come down, you've got the balanced. So again, similar to what we spoke about in the FBA ones at the top, ever so slightly less sales focused than the previous one, less aggressive, but still pretty aggressive, and then ever so slightly more profit focused. Then you've got the cautious sales enhancer for MF, still pretty for sales focused, but it does take profit into account, pretty balanced overall, as you can see by the dots. Then again, you've got dynamic profit builder coming up again, but for those merchant fulfilled sellers, more profit focused than it is on sales. So that's where you see that switch here again, looking to increase your profit and do the best it can for the profit that's in your product. So that's your strategies for Profit Protector Pro. As I said, the algorithmic strategies are absolutely amazing, will bring you super, super amazing results. That's why they're here, so give them a go. If you have any questions or you'd like any advice, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. <laughs>